Hey, nerdlings, it's Nudie Magazine Day. You're not back in the day gamer. <laughs> Let's get into this. Yay! Hello, Floyd. All right, nerdlings. It is the start of a new month, which means it is Video Games Monthly Time, the premier video game service that sends you retro goodness straight to your door. You do not borrow these. You do not rent these. You get to keep these and fill your shelves and fill your lives with gaming goodness. And don't forget to update your list so you don't get duplicates. Absolutely. So something that Lady Lacey always loves to do is to open it blindly to me so that she can surprise me with the things inside, such as this. This is their business card, and this is their way of saying, hey, if you have any problems with some of those games and you need us to, you know, make something happen, we'll make that game disappear, because they're legitimate businessmen. And this is the card, handwritten from Floyd every month that says, I love you, because he just likes to remind you of that. Ready for your up? Uh, is this a bazillion up? Yep. We finally got it. Finally! And they squeezed it all into one little box. <laughs> all right, so a one-up. We subscribe to the three games a month box, but we've got an extra in there. It's a black cartridge. So is it Sega? Yes. Head. <laughs> and it's a doctor. I think I know what this one is. What do you think it is? Because uh, I only know one doctor <laughs> game on Sega. So Dr. Robotnik. Mean Bean Machine. Buddy! Is that what it is? Yep, that's oh what my it gosh. Is. Good job. Nice. Golf nice. clap. Golf clap. So, um, all right. Something kind of fun about this game. So, it is a puzzle game, but this is actually a game called Puyo Puyo. But Puyo Puyo was big in Japan, and us Americans back in the Sega Genesis days didn't know what Puyo Puyo was, so they remarketed or rebranded it as a, you know, a Sonic tie-in. Yeah. And they did Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Here's the weird thing, though. They used characters, you can see this, like, chicken here. Uh-huh, he looks uh, I think his name was Scratch. He's got a Cyberman behind him. But they used characters from the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon. Huh. So there was a time when there were two Sonic cartoons on. And I'm pretty sure Urkel, Jaleel White, did the voice for both of them. But one was like, it was just called Sonic the Hedgehog, and it was like a very cool, edgy, blah, blah, blah. The other one, The Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, it was freaking nuts. <laughs> this thing, it, it was like barely animated, but then it was just insane. Uh, just watch the intro sometime. It's it's weird. So that's the thing. It's weird that they branded it after that instead of any other Sonic franchise or outlet at the time. I forgot to give you the free gift first. Oh, a free gift. Oh, nice. A button. Nice. You do like your buttons. They always come in handy with Floyd on there. So that way you can wear it. You know, if you don't have your shirt, yeah. you've got your buttons but you to show totally off. But you should totally get a shirt, though. Your VGM pride. Oh. And they always like to throw those little extras in there every month. A little something, a little something, something just for you because Floyd loves you. <laughs> Are you ready for a cassette? <laughs> this isn't the Night Trap cassette, is it? No, it's a Nintendo 64 cassette. Oh, oh. <laughs> so that must mean it is a Japanese game because on the back. Whoa. Somebody even wrote in Japanese. Uh, that that may be a curse. <laughs> oh, don't read it out loud. We've, we've learned from many a movie, do not read things out loud. But on the back of the cartridge, you can see that it does say cassette. And I'm pretty sure in America, ours say game pack. But uh, we got Star Fox 64, so this will be pretty cool. Because, uh, of course, being Star Fox, you 
don't exactly have to know Japanese to be able to play that. You get to hear, you know, <laughs> do a barrel roll, peppy and slippy screaming in your ears in some kind of weird Japanese. Hey, we're on the same team. Point oh, that's something. that's Falco. He goes, we're on the same team, Einstein. <laughs> the okay. next one is um, a blockbuster property of. Wow, what a difference! So yeah, an old rental game, and it's Pokemon got, Puzzle. You see, the label is completely nice. covering the label. This is oh property of blockbuster. Oh my gosh! And then turn it over. It's got like "Don't steal us" over the back label. So. Wow. So yet again, even after all this time, Blockbuster is still, still being a dick. People over. <laughs> but uh, you know, I never played any of the uh, the Pokemon puzzle games. I th think there were a couple, weren't there? Like maybe some on handheld too. So that will be interesting. Oh, and yes. Hey, look at this. So, Japanese cassette, American game pack. Because in America, we don't play cassettes on our game consoles. We play them in our Trans Am with our mullets. Freebird. Are you going to give me that last game or not? <laughs> yeah, I was trying to figure out if it's like a homebrewed label or not. Um, well, yes, it would be because they put it in one of those nice cases. So you've got the nice universal case. This is like what you would get when you would rent the games uh -huh. because I always loved all the little like uh, the cutouts and indentions yeah, for things. Yeah, everything fits in there. Because it shows how like Genesis games would fit and the 64 games. So like your 64 game fits like that and your Genesis game fits like that. And then your Super Nintendo because they're big and bulky. And then there's even a circular spot for a disc. But anyway, these are always nice. They yeah. look nice on the shelves and keep the games very nice. So we got Mech Warrior on Super Nintendo. It's in and really good condition. It really is. It I, doesn't have a property of sticker on it. I think um, from the back of it, it looks like this is one of those Mode 7 games. So that was uh, Nintendo's oh. big like 3D push that weirds you out. If you ever played... Uh, a lot of like RPGs would use it for their overworld maps, which was always really cool because it's like, <laughs> oh my gosh, you can spin it and turn it all over the place. And they, they, uh, they do all and kinds of effects with Mode 7. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, I was very curious about what was in this box. Yeah. Um, so it's very cool to have some Nintendo love with just a bit of, you know, a little touch of Sega. A little Sega in there. So, all well, right. Well, looking like Nintendo is doing way more oh. than Sega is in this box. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Nintendo did this box. Nintendo did this box well. <laughs> Well, guys. You got a good variety, too. You, know, you got Pokemon, and you got Star Fox. I mean, well, they they also, like, doubled up, what was it? These these two. They doubled up the yeah, puzzle games, so uh, maybe they think I need to work on my smarts. Um, <laughs> but guys, I would love to hear your comments about any of these games below. Maybe, you know, a little something about Pokemon Puzzle League, or uh, you've played some Mech Warrior and you mm -hmm. got sick in the Mode 7. Or maybe you already knew the little fun facts about Dr. Robotnik's Mean Beans in his machine. Ooh. That's also, how I became a robot, kids. Keep your beans. Tell us what you got in the comments below in your VGM this month. <laughs> we would love to see what you got this month. And give VGM a chance. Check yes. them out. Uh, because it's fun seeing what's in the box. It's, it's a nice little surprise. In the box. All right. Well, if you like the video, give it a like. Leave those comments down below. Subscribe. Notification bell lets you know what's going on, as well as... Like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram so that you can see what is in our box next month. You can see where we're going all month long, and you can, you know, just, just chill with us. Just know when we're chilling with people and things and doing stuff. So don't forget also to go over to Tee Public because we got merchandise over there. And nerdlings, if we like it. We nerd it. Oh. That wasn't a 
a very good one. Come on. There we go. Don't leave J-Love hanging. This was not a good one. I can't pop it. There we go. Here. Jay loves not the only leading lady who gets a little support. I made a little sandwich just for you, Linda. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, do you want some? Om nom 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 nom. Don't lick those. Who knows where they've been? Like in my mouth. That wouldn't fit in my mouth. <laughs> well, let's not go into this. Well, if we had some. <laughs> give you a dirty look, future town. Future town will know. <laughs> Put your foot up there. I don't want to touch it. I don't want to touch it. <laughs> I'm afraid. Oh. We're on the same team, Einstein, or Einstein. We're on the same. Let's try that again. He goes, We're on the same team, Einstein. <laughs> Use take two. Ready? Hey, guys. <laughs> 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 <laughs>